Hey, Hum asks, can you explain Langland's program and does it have any connection to physics? No, yes. Um, <laughs> Langland's program, if you had to say it in one sentence, it would say that um, automorphic forms on groups have something to do with representations of Galois groups, which sounds like this obscure technical stuff. But um, rather amazingly, an awful lot of problems in mathematics turn out if you go very deep into them to, to be related to the Langlands program. For example, um, the classic example of this is Wiles's proof of Fermat's last theorem was, was essentially using this idea. Um, does it have anything to do with physics? Well, some of the more recent work on geometric Langlands is using ideas from quantum field theory. So I can give you a definite maybe on that one. Um, there, there are certainly some ideas that turn up in both Langlands program and physics, whether or not there's any more direct connection. I don't know, but it wouldn't surprise me. Langlands program seems to, it, it seems to be one of these things that turns up almost everywhere if you go really deeply into something. And you mentioned that you're extremely interested in learning more about it. I've been so for decades and there's, there's just so much to learn. I mean, um, <laughs> I mean, that, that Langland's program seems to be the ultimate black hole for what you need to learn in order to understand it. Like, like there, are, there are several very deep subjects like representation theory and algebraic geometry, which are themselves notorious for how, how much you have to learn to get into them. And Langland's program sort of subsums all of these. You need to know algebraic geometry and representation theory and a lot of hard analysis. So it's more or less, <laughs> it's almost like it's every hard area of mathematics all combined into one.